flags have an important place in the history of Fort Schuyler. Local tradition holds that the siege of Fort Schuyler marked the first time an American Stars and Stripes flag was flown during battle. This tradition is a source of great pride locally. However, it's also been a source of much debate. While it is known that a flag was constructed and flown at the fort during the siege, the actual design of the flag itself is less clear. Did the flag have stars and stripes, or was another flag design used? Some evidence does point to the accuracy of local tradition. For instance, the Continental Congress passed the flag resolution on June 14, 1777, which stated that a stars and stripes flag will represent the United States. Additionally, a carving of the fort flying a stars and stripes flag on a powder horn led some to support this version. The Colbrath Journal also states that a flag was constructed from strips of cloth, which could have been referring to the stripes in the Stars and Stripes flag. Others argue that this isn't definitive proof that the flag was designed in such a way. Stripes are also found in the Grand Union flag, which was a common flag at the time. Further, doubters argue that the news of the flag resolution may not have made it to the fort before communication was cut off during the siege. While the resolution was passed on June 14th, and news of this resolution reached as far as Albany by early August, some do not believe that the news would have penetrated the frontier where Fort Schuyler rests by this time. Additionally, a second powder horn, depicting the fort with the Grand Union flag flying, supports this version as well. Information from those at the fort do little to provide answers. Continental Lieutenant Colonel Willett's own journal, for instance, states, A respectable flag was formed, the white stripes were cut, the blue stripes out of cloak, the red stripes out of different pieces of stuff collected from sundry persons. While he makes no mention of stars being cut from cloth, he also doesn't use the terms Grand Union or Continental to describe it either, meaning a completely different third design could have been used as well. What do you think? Is local tradition accurate, or was the flag flown over Fort Schuyler a different design?